Oh my god, there it finally goes. <laughs> All right, good morning. It is Friday. Enter sitting here in Brampton, Ontario is 7 degrees. It's pretty chilly this morning, and I had to wear the toque this morning. And boy, am I sure glad that I did. One of the teachers that was on yard duty, or on um, duty at the side of the school for the kiss and ride, um, said, boy, you're sure glad you wore your toque, and I'm sure glad that I did, because it is cold out there. All right, um, I thought I'd do a video um, and pass some time while my computer is upgrading. Um, there was some updates and whatnot, so I'm doing that, and um, thought I'd pass some time. Um, I did get a lot of um, responses back to um, some responses that I may have sent and some of my videos. Um, first off, I wanted to um, share with you guys that um, nobody's trying to steal my identity. Um, it was just somebody that had nothing better to do. It was a sick joke. Thought it was funny to try to pretend that they were me. So yes, you can say it was kind of like um, an identity. Um, but it's been dealt with. Uh, we reported it. And if any more phone calls come in, we will just get the account name and just report it again. Um, I don't want to go on too much about that because um, I have better things to do with my life and my time than to worry about somebody playing such a sick, cruel joke and, for instance, picking on me when i done nothing wrong. But um, Ashley, um, one of my new friends, wanted to see my uh, finished product. Um, what I baked. So I picked two of the ones that I did, um, the ones that I think that were the best, and I'm going to share with you, and um, I will let you know that um, I know that they're pretty good because my sister had one and said that they were really good. And my brother-in-law, Jason, he had some. So I think I did a pretty good job. And I know I did because Julia finished what she had started eating the other night. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the one that I made with um, that, um, I don't know, what do you call it, the rubber cupcake cake holder. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, this one. This one actually turned out really good. Um, I think I'm going to try to do the same thing next time and not put it on so thick. But um, here's the spider web that I did. And those are the candies, the candies I was, I was talking about here, the sugar candies. So that is that one. And then I made just a regular one. I gotta get it straight here. There you go. So, there you have it. That's what I made this week. Um, you can probably see right here. Here, I'll show you. There's my garland. So, yeah. I'll move it over there. Moved it out of the way of the camera. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, the cats went to the vet yesterday. And I'm very pleased. Um, if you're following me on Facebook, um, I posted about the cats at the vet. Um, I was really impressed with them. Um, just a few minutes, I have an email. It's just my email letting me know I have an email. Um, I'm with Incredimail. I hooked up with Incredimail and get the funky bells and whistles and and whatnot. I just hate that when things go in your junk mail and they're not junk. So I have to unmark it as junk because it's not junk. 
Anyways, it's just some pictures from our flick. Let's see what the pictures are. But anyways, I, we took the cats to the vet, and I'm very pleased that both of them lost weight. Um, Patrick's lost more weight than Hannah did, but Hannah still lost like half a pound, and Patch lost two pounds, which is really good. Um, our goal is to try to get them down to 10 pounds. Um, you know, if we succeed, then we're really, I'm really um, proud of ourselves. Um, they only had to have one shot each. Um, they were so nervous. I'm telling you, so nervous. Um, I don't know if any of you know, um, it's called Tag It. It's these new carriers that the vet was really impressed with. And they have an easy access to the top. Like, they open up the top so you can put your cat in or your dog. And then the door is very easy accessible. Now, those old carriers, um, we we had one, and then it, it, it broke. And then I ordered these carrying bags from Avon. And we have one that's still in working condition but about to break a not long and um, it wasn't cutting it for us so when I saw these in the pet store I thought they were really really cool um, I'll put a link in the bottom just to share with you guys so that you can have a gander and take a look if any of you have dogs or cats um, they're worth the money and the investment um, they also have a carrying strap and um, easy access tray to um, pull out to put the food in the water and they're they're easy to clean um, you can lay paper towels down in it or newspaper whatever you prefer so that um, it's not much of a mess to clean up after um, but um, the girls are fine now they're sleeping um, they tried to get food for me this morning but I noticed they had already ate so I'm gonna feed them um, around 11 hopefully That'll be their lunch time. So, um, um, it was just some pictures from my friend that goes to the same school as Julia, his mom. Just loaded up some pictures. Um, what else can I say? Today is just going to be, um, I'm just going to hear in a few when it's done um, doing the updates, I'm going to restart the computer and I'm going to check out Facebook. I'm going to do, I, I think what I'm going to try to do is one thing first. Do all my Facebook, then I'm going to do all my YouTube, and then I'm going to work on some pictures and um, put some backgrounds to them. Um, tonight for dinner, I am aiming for taco pie. Um, just in case any of you don't know, I'm actually going to show you because I know maybe where you're from, you may have something similar or you may not have it at all, but I'll be right back. This is what we're planning on having for dinner. Um, bring it a little closer here for you guys. Um, you need one pound of ground beef. Um, you can use sour cream, which we don't use. Um, but for those of you who like sour cream, can put it on. And salsa, we don't use. We just make it with um, what comes in the pack in the box, cheese, and just the one pound um, hamburger. So that'll be fun. Um, when I pick up Julia today um, for 3.15, um, we come home, I clean up her bag, and 
check what's in her bag, sign her book to say that I saw her agenda book. And then we work on her homework. And then after that, it is, um, she'll do her patch for an hour and a half. When Brian gets home, he'll cook dinner and possibly after go to bed and get a good sleep because tomorrow we go bowling. And then tomorrow, um, I think we're going to go to the opening of the one McDonald's. Uh, Ronald McDonald's supposed to be there, so we're going to go down and I'm going to get, um, I think it's a $1.99 or $2.99. Uh, they're supposed to be having a special on kids' meals. So I think I'm going to get one and get one for Julia and whatever Brian wants, even though we had McDonald's yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be fun. Anyways, I'm going to go for now, and hopefully, maybe I'll come back later. If not, have yourselves a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. What are you guys doing this weekend? Uh-huh. I'm also going to be doing some shopping. Got to get some stuff to the grocery store. But I thought I'd throw that in there because Beth always does that, and got to love when Beth does that. So I thought I'd just... Ask what you're doing this weekend. Take care. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.